How does one mourn for six million people who died? How many candles does one light? How many prayers does one recite? Do we know how to remember their victims, their solitude, their helplessness? They left us without a trace, and we are their trace. As Jews, what is our obligation to the memory of those who suffered in the Holocaust? What are our responsibilities to ourselves, to our communities, to the Jewish people, and to the world? The Holocaust is known today as one of the most tragic events in the history of the world. Today, it is almost impossible to imagine how an entire population of people could seemingly turn the blind eye towards the mass murder of an entire race. However, many people today don't realize that before there was an all-out hatred towards Jews, the Germans simply looked down upon Jews. In his book, Mein Kampf, Adolf Hitler described the perfect race, the Aryan race. The Aryan race were Germans who were smart, strong, fashionable, blonde, blue eyes, and organized. Hitler described the Jews as rats, and the opposite of what an ideal person of the Aryan race would be. In the beginning, Germans thought Hitler was crazy. However, even at this time, there was discrimination against Jews. Over the course of several years, the discrimination and bias against the Jews began to escalate and the views of the German population started to align more and more with Hitler's views. The entire German population began to see the Jews as rats. The Jews were seen as an inferior race and they were rumored to be the source of the German Great Depression, which had recently crippled the German economy. When the war started, the Jews were completely separated from the German society and they were placed in ghettos. As the war continued, Jews were moved to concentration camps. Some of these camps were for labor purposes, but many of them were used to exterminate Jews, thus gaining the name death camps. Jews were given little to no food and they were forced to work an incredible amount of hours. Jews were beaten and killed. 1.1 million Jewish children were murdered. Thousands of Jewish corpses were burned as the Germans deemed that to be the most efficient way of getting rid of the bodies. From 1933 to 1945, Hitler, the leader of the Nazis, killed more than 11 million people, 6 million of them being Jews. Of course, these atrocities, along with the fact that they were so few survivors, is what makes the Holocaust stand out in Jewish history. Fortunately, we had the chance to interview Ted Hurst, one of the hands full of the survivors from this horrific event. How, how important is it to you that our generation keeps the memory of the Holocaust alive? Can you That's very important because if we, if we forget about it, uh, it can repeat again. And that's something that I don't wish on anybody, anything like this. So it's very important. And I hope you keep it, keep talking about it and tell your, your children and so on what was going on because it's an important thing. We don't want anybody to suffer. This is not something, I mean, you, you can imagine, I mean, I don't want this to be sad about things like, you know, if you can imagine yourself to your family, and suddenly they, you're taken away from home, separated from everybody. You know, that's an awful feeling. It's not uh, something that you, I, I don't wish anybody to experience anything like that. Is revenge the correct way to honor the deceased? Possibly. However, the best revenge is happiness because nothing drives people more crazy than seeing someone actually having a good life. Instead, we should live happily. Whoever is happy will make others happy too. And Frank. Should we forget this terrible time period altogether? To forget the dead would be akin to killing them a second time. Ali Wazel. Our obligation to remember the Holocaust is to make sure that a tragedy like the Holocaust can never happen again. When we interviewed Ted Hirsch, it was an instant life-changing encounter. It was an amazing once-in-a-lifetime experience that allowed us to truly understand the importance of our obligation to remember the Holocaust. It is essential that our generation and all future generations remember the Holocaust, not as a reminder of the evil that became a part of our past, but of the happiness that we should take for granted in today's time. 
While it's true that the Nazis did terrible things to us, revenge will not make anyone happy. Like the famous saying goes, the best revenge is happiness.